Turn out. Ready? Set. Come here, buddy. Hi. 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 Where are you going? Come here. Hi. Come here. Come here. Hi. I got you. I got you. Hi. Hi. Stop talking back. Hi. Hi. Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, it's been uh, quite a few days since my birthday on Friday and I'm back at it now. Had some uh, good party fun on the weekend. Um, so yeah, uh, it's time to start painting again. I took a little break in between. Um, so now I'm back in the basement and I'm ready to pour. Um, so I'll tell you guys all about my birthday shenanigans on the weekend. So in the meantime, let me bring it down and I'll tell you guys what I'm up to tonight. So if uh, you remember, and if you saw one of my previous videos, uh, maybe three or four or five videos back, I can't remember, I did uh, this piece here on this little 12 inch round. Uh, I went out of my comfort zone and you know, away from my purples and my blues. And I did these pinks and coppers and orange actually, um, which for me, um, kind of resemble fall colors like the orange and stuff like that. So uh, I really liked it and I got some pretty great feedback and a lot of people said do it on a bigger piece. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I am going to do it on this 18 by 24 inch canvas. So is it centered? Yeah, you guys can see. Before I get started, don't forget for those of you who are new um, or you know don't know about these mats, this is an awesome silicone mat um, and the company is um, Loli Vefi. Um, and I have all the information below. I just wanted to show you guys, if you saw my birthday Dutch pour for my birthday, um, this is one of the skins I peeled off from it and it is so cool. And um, I didn't know really what to do with them until I saw um, Molly's video the other day from Molly's Artistry, one of my great, great friends. Um, she does these super cool magnets um, with skins. So check out the video. Um, I'll try and remember to link it in the description below to Molly's video, but she gave me such a great idea just to do these simple little magnets. Um, and I'm going to start keeping these skins now because these magnets looked amazing. So thank you, Molly, for the great idea. Um, and I'm going to, um, so I just literally peeled these off, peeled that off this uh, silicone mat here, and I've got a bunch more. Uh, that are just on the floor down there. But if you like this mat, this one, I have four covering my entire table. Um, they are back pretty much in stock. Um, Adriana's shipping them out as we speak. Um, so she's definitely get, got the orders coming in and the mats have been going out and people have been receiving them. There is also now a mega mat. So this is a jumbo mat and now there is a mega mat. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can check that out on the website as well. And please don't forget to use the code CANELA5. So just my name and the number five, and you will save $5 off your mat and it's free shipping in the US. So uh, check that uh, info out below. And uh, I think that's it, we'll just get started. So as I said, 18 by 24 inch canvas. We make sure we are in frame. We are perfect. All right. Um, for those of you who saw the birthday Dutch pour, um, it is now dry and she is, whoops, stunning. I can't even get it in here. It's so big. So this was um, 12 by uh, 36 inches, but it's finally dry. And um, so I released this video on Friday on my birthday and the same day it sold. So um, thank you so much. 
Um, to everyone who sent me an email or a message, I had about, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 people um, who were emailing me or messaging me um, wanting to buy it. Uh, but it sold pretty quick uh, and it's going to its new home, I believe, um, in Connecticut once I varnish it and it dries. So, um, yeah, a few people really wanted the piece and I was like, sorry, it's, uh, it's sold really, really quickly, which is great. Um, but I did tell the people who didn't get the chance to buy it um, that I can make another one using the same colors. Now we all know it's not gonna be exactly perfectly the same, but it'll definitely be the same colors. Uh, and if anyone wants the same colors, I can do that. So actually I'll be doing a 12 by 24 inch commissioned piece um, using the same colors. So for anyone who is interested and wanted to purchase the birthday piece, um, you can still have one in similar in the same colors um, if you like. So, all right, I have just poured down my white. So in my squeeze bottles, which is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White mixed with Floetrol and water. I've got it in all my squeeze bottles and it's the same ratio that I use um, to mix my um, colored paints as well. And if you wanna know how I mix my paints in my squeeze bottles, uh, check out video number 63. It'll pop up there at the top for you, um, a link for you to click on if you like. And that will show you how I mix my paints. Um, so my mixture is for the uh, Dutch pour and then I do use it for uh, ring pours as well. Um, they're not, it's not a very good mixture for um, if you're doing like a flip cup uh, kind of pour technique because it's not thick enough but for the Dutch pour for me it is perfect all right so I will continue to get my edges here is that empty that's empty all right good thing I have a lot of bottles huh um, so yeah um, while I'm doing this for those of you who don't want to hear my birthday story feel free to fast forward right now <laughs> But, uh, so on Friday on my birthday after work, uh, my husband took me and the kids out and we went out for dinner, which is a nice family dinner. So that was great. And then my husband says to me, oh, tomorrow we're going to go see our friends um, who live about an hour and a half away. Um, and he's like, we're going to go out for a nice special lunch and we're going to leave the kids behind and our friend's mother who... Um, lives with them the grandparents are going to watch all five kids now I was like okay his parents are going to watch grandma and grandpa are going to watch all these five kids between the ages of five and nine that should be interesting he's like oh yeah you know they'll watch them and we'll the four of us will go for a nice dinner a nice lunch date and then because it happened to be a beautiful day which is a very very odd thing here um, in Toronto um, at the end of September it's never this warm for some reason it was really warm and they have this massive pool so they're like we're he my husband's like we'll have a pool party and I said oh okay cool we'll make sure we'll bring our bathing suits and he's like yeah and we'll sleep over too and I'm like okay great so I was like okay that sounds like fun and so the next morning we were getting ready to go and I was like all right we better go and he's like, well, we can't leave too early. He's like, you know, reservations are for like one o'clock. You know, we can't go too early. And I'm like, hmm, something fishy's going on here. So I was, uh, I knew something was up. Like, I mean, I, I had a feeling that this was going to be like some sort of surprise party or something. I just didn't know who would be there. Okay, so let me just stop for a second. So I just covered my canvas in white. I made sure I covered all my edges. I'm now gonna use my torch to pop all the bubbles because there's a lot of air bubbles in here. So that's what I'm doing. So I said, all right, I had a feeling something was going on. So we're driving to our friend's house. And while we're driving, I text one of my, my best friends who happens to be my new boss too. I text her and I say, hey man, I said, something fishy's going on. And she's like, why? What do you mean? 
I said, I don't know, he's acting really weird and he's talking really funny and, you know, he's just, he's just not being himself. And she's like, oh, I wonder what it is. And I said, well, I think he's got people there and he's got like family and friends or whatever, like just our friends and he's going to surprise me. And she's like, oh, well, let me know. Pause. <laughs> so the colors I'm going to be using tonight are the same as the other one, the round. So it's permanent red violet by Amsterdam. Then we have light magenta by Artist Loft. And then I have old gold by Artist Loft. And oh, I forgot my orange. Oh, here. So then I have, um, what is this? Azo? Azo. Azo orange um, by Amsterdam, which I have here because I've run out of squeeze bottles. So until I get more and then, so those were the colors I used on the wood round, but I decided to add one more color and I, you know, you all know how much I love the antique copper by folk art. So I'm going to use a little bit of that as well. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I figured on such a big canvas, I'll add a fifth color. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my squiggles as usual. All right. So moving right along. So I'm texting my girlfriend as we're driving and I'm like, oh, something fishy's going on here. I bet you he's got a bunch of people there. And she's like, oh, you think so? I'm like, oh yeah, I know so. And she's like, well, let me know. And I'm like, well, I don't need to let you know because I'll see you there, right? And she's like, what? I'm like, oh, come on. I know you're there. I'm like, you're there right now at our friend's house. And she's like, dude, you're setting yourself up for a pretty big disappointment. I'm like, I am, eh? All right, we'll see about that. <laughs> so we get to the house and my husband says to the kids, all right, well, let's just all go inside right now because we're a little late. We'll bring all our, our, you know, overnight bags in later. And I'm like, mm-hmm, bringing them in later, eh? All right, so we go inside and I walk into the kitchen and I hear, surprise! And sure enough, there's my best friend, her husband, my mom, my dad, my, my one of my brothers is there. Um, my other brother, my older brother, unfortunately couldn't be there. He lives in New York. Um, so, and then a couple of other friends as well. So I was like, I knew it. I knew something was going on, but uh, great surprise, great party. Um, you know, pool party, great food, great laughs, great friends. So yeah, it was an awesome day with awesome weather. So my husband did good. He threw a great party and thank you to my awesome friends who hosted the party um, because there was no way my husband would able, be able to pull that off at our house because I would totally figure it out. But uh, yeah had the pool party, great food, great time. So yeah, that's uh, what my husband had planned for me on Saturday. So yeah, that was the fun birthday part. All right, so there are all my five colors and I think that's it. I think we'll leave it at that. Let's... Uh, Flood it with some white. All right. Let's see how this one turns out. And I'll do this way. All right. There we go. So my girlfriend ended up getting this really awesome um, cupcake, these really awesome cupcakes that um, looked like a bouquet of flowers. It was a piece of art, let me tell you. Like, I mean, I couldn't believe my eyes. It really looked like real flowers. The, the amount of detail in that was just crazy. Um, they were beautiful. All right, popping the bubbles after I poured all my colors. All right, let's blow the white over. All 
All right, white has been blown over. Now let's blow it out. Let's see what comes of this. <laughs> wow. It's so pretty. Holy smokes. I like this size canvas actually. I'm just going to move it down. Tilt it just a bit to center it. But I'm loving it. And the skins that are going to dry here are going to be beautiful. Um, in fact, one of the other things you could do. Wow, look at the cells. Is... Uh, if you have somewhere to move this while it's still wet, like I'll just probably pick it up and move it to the other side of my table. Um, there is quite the puddle here on here. If you want, you could literally just grab your hair dryer and blow it out. And that way it'll thin it out even more like the puddles and they'll dry a heck of a lot faster. Um, my puddles from the birthday pour, you know, just dried yesterday and I poured that Friday and today is what, Monday? Um, so yeah, it took a while to dry, but um, if you want it to dry quick, you could just blow it out with the hair dryer a bit and then it'll thin out and dry a lot quicker. All right, this, oh wow, this is insane. So lots of color here and there's, um, I can see there's um, color underneath the white here and here. So I'm just going to blow a little bit right here to see if I can get some color in here and here and we'll see what happens because this side I'm really liking a lot so let's see so that's better so now that white um, you know disappeared which is great I like that and now I'm going to just blow a little bit here and see if I can get some color in here. And I think I will leave it after that. So let's see. All right, so there's that. Now let's torch it and see what surfaces um, under here because I can see a bunch of color here and here. So all right. You know, some people um, don't like all the little teeny, teeny, tiny cells um, that pop up. And you know what? I sometimes I don't either. It all depends on the piece. Um, in this case, I'm actually not going to torch um, the center here, but I am just going to do the outsides because I know there's color hiding under there. Um, so I will just torch the outside just to see what colors um, surface. pretty I love it I'm honestly just look at see I did that right there and look at the cool white lacing that just came up there um, but I don't want to touch the middle because it looks like the antique copper and the orange made some gorgeous cells here I can't even believe it it's just stunning oh look a Juno here oh look another one. Oh shoot and a fluff there you go so there you have it and don't forget to um, scrape the bottom of your canvas um, to catch or get rid of any drips that will prevent your um, piece from you know well it'll help prevent the piece the paint from pulling off the sides Oh, wow, I really, really like this. This is pretty. All right, I'm going to mess with the rest later. 
my sides and stuff, but let me bring you guys in for a close up so you can see up close what this looks like. So look at the cells that the uh, copper and the gold created. It's insane. I love it. It looks so pretty. I'm so glad I did this on a bigger canvas. Like look right, wait, where's my finger here? Look at these cells right here. Like how cool is that? That is really neat. And there's the little lacing of cells there. And as you see, wherever there was gold in that antique copper, really got some super cool cells going. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this bigger version of my 12 inch round. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new watching, please hit that subscribe bell. It would mean a lot to me. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to check out all my social media links below. I have um, Amazon Shop US and an Amazon Shop for the Canadians. Um, all my stuff, my hair dryer, my, you know, the, the spatula, you know, the torches, all that stuff is in the shops. So if you're wondering, you know, where I get it, I get it on Amazon. And then all my social media links are also listed below, guys. Feel free to click on them and follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm on Pinterest as well. And of course, my PayPal link um, for anyone who would like to donate. Any little bit helps. Uh, and I truly appreciate it. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this pour and my birthday story. So, and thank you so, so much, everybody, for the birthday wishes. It was like completely overwhelming um, to hear everyone wishing me a happy birthday. I, I could not thank you guys enough. Um, you guys are the best. Um, such love from everybody. So thank you so much. And that's it for now. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Take care. Bye.